Hi everybody, welcome back to my violin studio. I'm Ingrid. This is the slow jam fiddle tune series from the Fiddler's Fake Book. And we are on tune number five, Angus Campbell. This is a Scottish reel and this is a very famous reel. You'll hear this all over the place. Um, you can find many tutorials on YouTube about different styles, some swing, some straight rhythms. Um, today, we're gonna play super slowly, straight rhythm, so no swing, just to help you learn the notes. That's what we're doing with this series. We're going through every tune in this book in a slow, methodical kind of way so you can get started. Then you can find, you know, whatever YouTube tutorial you want on, uh, different styles and play with speed and things like that. So before we start, as usual, let's talk about the key. We're in A major, which for violinists is a very uh, familiar key. A lot of us start in A major, right? If you have tapes on your violin, it's on the tapes. Um, but when we play the lower octave, then we have to remember that the three is raised, the high three on G is C sharp, and high three on the D is G sharp. Right? So let's play the two octave scale. So we'll start on the low A, first finger on the G, and we'll remember that high third finger on the lower strings only. Let's go up one note higher. We normally would stop on an A in an A major scale, but let's add the B with pinky because we're gonna need this in this tune. So let's go up and we'll go down the scale. Sometimes we only go up, but we'll go up and down this time. Okay, here we go on our low A. One, two, three, four. scale but we're right here let's practice two and four and let's go back to three and four and let's do two and four one more time a little wobble there okay good practice now let's go down the scale so we're on four and we'll head all the way down to low a ready Sometimes you'll need it. We can't play a G natural, an open G, because we have a G sharp. So you'd actually have to lower your first finger for a G sharp and then raise it again to get back to the A. So even though we don't need it in this tune, let's practice A low one for G sharp and back to A. practicing this little spot here. It's in measure four. And I want to practice the E major chord part, which is the last four notes. Right, you see? 
see now that it's at the end of the first line. We have a G sharp, a B, an E, back to that G sharp. And that's, you know, that can be a little tricky. So you might want to just look at that ahead of time. Now what I'm doing, I am actually putting my first finger on both of the strings. I don't know if you can see. It's just on both the strings right there, so I can play B, E, and then stretch up. Leave your two out of the out of the equation here. You don't need your two stretching up. It might land on a on a D, like right next to three. You don't want to train it to do that. So keep your two up as you play that. Um, you don't have to land your finger on both strings, though. You can move it. The faster you want to play, though, right? You're you're gonna want it on both strings. So just do whatever you you need to do there. Okay, I think we're ready. I'm gonna follow the bowings exactly in this one, starting on a down bow, taking the repeats. Watch out for the slur that goes into the B part, and at the end of the B part, the slur goes back into the B part. So just watch that up bow, it continues. Okay, here we go. One, two, three. of the B section. That's tricky too. Watch out for those bowings. I have an up bow written on this on both of the slurs just to keep myself going in that right direction. Now uh, looking at the book here you'll see that there's this alternate B section. So I'm going to go ahead and play that too. This one's a little trickier um, but maybe you want to try it. So it has some grace notes. We're just going to go for that one, or there's a, in the B minor chord, raise your three, because there's a little tiny sharp there. Right, so three, four. Ooh. Okay, so let's, uh, let's play the B, the alternate B part, uh, same tempo as before. Here we go. One, two, three, four. second to last measure, the penultimate measure, uh, the second to last measure, it's actually written and then the D repeats. I think that's a typo because first of all it's an A chord, right? C sharp is in an A chord. 
right? And um, I don't think they changed the ending. They, they normally keep that little tag the same. So I think that is a mistake. And I am going to play a C for the fifth note of the second to last measure of the alternate B section on Tuesdays. All that's doing is making it exactly the same as the initial B section. I hope that wasn't confusing. You just play whatever you want. Okay, so now you should practice it. Make sure you can play, make sure you got the bowings and all those things. Then you wanna play it a little bit faster because that's no proper Scottish reel like that. Now you can find lots of videos for playing it really fast. Let's just play it a little bit faster now. Let's play about like, about like that. Here we go. One, two, three. I'm really trying to get to that thousand subscribers and I need your help. So thank you in advance. Have fun, you guys. Practice happy. I'll see you next time.